Okay, hey guys, Nara here. Starting more Genshin. Yeah, that's what's happening. As I said before, we're gonna be playing just because while Sumeru is out, I think we should enjoy it to the fullest and play as much as possible. So here we are again with more Genshin. Also, yes, I got to Nara yesterday if you weren't here the other day, so I'm gonna see how much I can max him out and use him as often as possible because I really do. So now going forward for today, I think. Well, yesterday off stream, I got all the statues of the seven within Sumeru. So, but there's still teleport points to get. But I think first and foremost, I want to wrap up this quest involving Kale. Am I pronouncing it Kale? Kale? Yeah, I may have pronounced that wrong or whatever. Before anything else, because then it ties into the little event thing going on with her. So, if we just get through that, we can actually get her among other rewards. So, I think. We should get that out of the way before we could um, explore more of Sumeru. <clears throat> so let's get right into it. And on the topic of Tanar, I want to try and make a team with him to try on Abyss, but yeah, just I haven't seen any good ones right now, and any good ones I see are with characters I don't have. So we'll work it out, or characters that aren't maxed out yet or strong enough. So first and foremost, we shall. Okay, we'll just listen. Oh, yeah, I'm daily checking. One second. This new area, Sumeru and all its beauty. Yes, Kale, Dory characters coming soon. Yes, okay, Ganyu and Kokomi are gonna be again. So yeah, looking forward to that. All of that. Yes, and there's new weapons. It's called Hunter's Path. Yes. I was contemplating whether with the Primo Gems we have, I've never rolled on a weapon banner. So we could for this one, just to get a good weapon to pair with ten Tainari. But again, we have about two weeks, so I'll decide when the time comes. Because I've never tried rolling on weapon banners before, so I'm contemplating. Skip, yes please, skip. Okay. Also, yes, there's kind of some event things going on. Participate if you want more. First and foremost, I want to. If you let me. Where is it? Is it not this? Okay, they updated the app in terms of where to do the check in. <coughs> I'm just doing this way so I don't have to like opening it up on my computer. Yes, farming artifacts for Tanari is a pain, is it? Let me see, sorry, I'll just look at this little meme on my phone. What color do you... <laughs> oh, the typical sound of thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, and also 10 for check-in or whatever, that's nice. Yeah, order guide you. 
Let me weave you a verse. No, my sword. Rally! Advance! Been through this one a million times. I'm not. I'm not just gonna take the time to read all of it again. I'm pretty sure many of you have seen it already. Okay, fine. Tai Yu it is.
Astra. Thank you for com. Add Astra. Ah, uh, yes, we can explore Sumeru now. But wait, I don't have. I'm at my limits anyway, and plus, yeah, I don't even know. Does Kole have that bonus about exploring? I wonder. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so now that that's over with, let's continue with this quest thing involving, yeah, her chronic illness. Get it out of the way and then we can focus on other things. Uh, so much to explore, so much to see, so little time. I'm trying to pick a which is why, yeah, when I stream for only two hours, you wonder what else am I doing during the day? Working on art and then feeding my other addiction to other games, so yeah. we pick up the thing or are we restarting this? But oh wait, we talked already. Why do we have to go through this again? I didn't see we've done this already. What happened? Alright, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? Please let me skip this. To I've be seen honest, this already. So, well, you and honestly it. speaking, I was a but So Tainan? Right. Ever since she was a child. Ellison? Yes. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild enough in its final stages. The disease. That sounds terrifying. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be. Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar. With appropriate. Nevertheless. What? Ah. Anyway, the person. I have no idea how this. However, Kale is a result. Oh, oh by already. the way. Sorry if he's well like said. said Kale wants to. Don't already. worry, Tainari. We'll well, it's not, though. She was interested. Her stamina. <sighs> All right. Now that I yeah. All right. No problem. Let's go then. Hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Lunar lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gondarvaville. Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh! Huh. Um... Okay, Anne. Can you get on? Never bring up the topic of flowers with me. I enjoyed his nerds talk about. Flight. Yeah. 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 some bugs, sorry, Hoyo verse. Uh, some bugs to work out in terms of this delay I keep experiencing. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. And fresh. Well, okay, these are the event ones, because I looked into it and these are the ones that are here. We've gathered enough lunar lotuses. Let's head back to meet Tainari. Okay, fine. Hey, Tainari! We found the lotuses you requested! Let me take a look. Hmm. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. 
I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari! What happened now? Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Disguises. Let's go find out what's going on. Disguises or something happened to Kali. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. Ah, yes, I've been dealing with those. Those are kind of The annoying. withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already clear just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry. I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Wait, can I? Oh, we're helping. I've dealt with one before. I can deal with a few more. You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. And yeah, the I've affected seen it. areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. Mm -hmm. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. Yeah. But you don't seem to carry a vision. And yet I control elements. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today, and show you what it looks like up close. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there, in the distance. the withering all right traveler we're going to have to enter that withering zone once inside we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering if we eliminate those then the area will be saved thank you but I must warn you don't push yourself this is your first time handling this sort of thing after all I, I even with third. elemental powers once you step inside the withering zone you may experience extreme discomfort if at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go.
First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Now, destroy the tumors of the withering. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Yes, thanks to you two we were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermansol before? Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansol spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Exactly. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin's soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarvaville. Let's buy, let's just collect 50 um, cut up more points.
resisting the urge to keep exploring. Must complete quest. Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken <coughs> care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that? Hmm. Oh no, Hapasia! What? That's what they're called? <coughs> huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Oh. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes. Allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gondarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Detective. Well, obviously, because this has happened before. Last time, she drew five lines. And by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, hapasia has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh... But will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But, wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Kainari? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? You can be a bit more direct, you know. That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Really? Okay. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater Lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermin's soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin's soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking One to her. One stranger's two, she was busy. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must exactly. avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for I a moment. I think you feel the benefit of the doubt if they do something like that to me. Like, they're either busy, preoccupied, or something about me, just, you know. Okay. 
Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Just happened. There you are. Hypatia, are you all right? Uh, uh, so hungry. <coughs> Need water. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait, why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Huh? Hot things out here end up looking like this. W what happened? And where are we? Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. Suddenly in Inazuma Azuma for. Huh? What happened just now? Why did everything around us suddenly change? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what? 
up next to Leo is. Okay, never mind, yep. This is getting weirder by the minute! <gasps> hey! What's the matter? You don't look so good!
Is all a dream? Come back here. Hmm. What do we do? We haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. Okay, I guess oh, Paimon was there in. There she is! Quick, let's see how she's doing. Ah, oh, so sweet. Mm. My mom wasn't in the well, dream with us. The good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. around her. We can put that to good use. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. <clears throat> I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. 
Their neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So you're able to see them too? Hmm. Traveler, you say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So... Hypatia, Are they just what kind of Mr. Creature Lord's is creations? Exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. Because she's the god of dreams. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding. And my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. And then? He put you to sleep. And then I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way... Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. Still hungry. A curious sound, wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... Oi, 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 I was in a anyway, dream. Or a nightmare. Looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides... Hyman's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. They're our specialties after all. Mmm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. I didn't even cook anything. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Where's the... Ah. Ugh. something what was the other one oh okay there we go so I didn't have to actually cook up yeah. all done let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it Oh, it smells amazing! 
And the box is a nice touch, too. Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia. This hot food is making me hungry. Yeah, I'll grab a snack in the next, like, ten minutes. Are you already finished cooking? Yeah, we're with this. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the Academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin's soul? The ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermin's soul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermin's soul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload, hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit born ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, wow. I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Irma soul at will. That's a big order. Oh. I wouldn't... <coughs> You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risk, Hapasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Oh, is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but 
That which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. <clears throat> the fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Rukadevata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. Really? I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Mm -hmm. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be, but I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermansul? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin Soul itself. Hmm. World forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. Hmm. Uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> now that we know Hapasia is all right and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. Heading out, I see? <laughs> If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Even though that little neighbor of mine was able to induce a state of dreaming, I doubt they were able to control the actual <coughs> contents of the dream. The end of your dream seemed quite terrifying. Perhaps there's something that's troubling you deep inside? Not to worry, though. I'm sure you'll be able to handle whatever comes your way in the real world. As someone from Sumeru who cannot dream, I needn't ever worry about nightmares. But lately, I've started to feel that I'm somehow missing something without dreams. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Sumeru researchers use Spirit Born Ale to assist them in connecting with Ermansoul to extract knowledge from it. Though the process can be risky, we believe that the knowledge gained is worth it. Unfortunately, I cannot help you understand your dream. At least not yet. I'm still learning how to attune to the depths of Ermansoul myself. I hope that I'll be able to ascend past Satyavada life and gain deeper insights. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask of- I've heard local children here in the rainforest speaking of fairy-like creatures. But I'm from Sumeru City, and have never heard of such things when I was a child. Perhaps this is because I had a very strict upbringing. My parents would seldom allow me to play with other children. I doubt they'd ever believe me if I told them about my little neighbor out here. And speaking of my little neighbor, I think they can somehow sense when Tainari is coming to visit me. I've noticed on several occasions that as they're playing under the trees, they'll suddenly tense up and scamper away for no apparent reason. Shortly after they do this, Tainari always shows up here. Hmm, perhaps I should ask Tainari about this the next time I see him. Heading out, I see? Take care. Do remember to come visit any time you're in the area. I would be happy to chat with you. Same.
One second, chat. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, chat. Okay, let's continue. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. Wait, don't tell my man I what understand to do. that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep need... your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Harabatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. Well, again, call Do you to... mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Gondarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. 
Jeez. Tainari, but you... Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. It's nothing. Some people from the Academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. Mm -hmm. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Right, also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Mm. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next step! Sumeru City! I was gonna say, before, uh, way before that. Oh, but wait, before that. Yes, we need to say bye to That's Kale. right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kale before oh, we man. leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon. So she must have wanted to see you off. Mm. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go. Farewell, and good luck to you both. That's mean. <laughs> this person's name is Om. Um. Really? Like no insult, but Om. Um. <laughs> there you are. How are you doing? Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh, I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend, not some girl that needs your sympathy. Lots of people have But I guess now it's I understand fun. that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale! Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like! I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Well then, 
I, Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gundarverville again. The Rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Is that the end of that? Yes, that's the end of that. So now, let me see. Oh my god, we still have to complete this pre-work of this quest. But is it all of Acts missing? That's a problem, isn't it? Trey has got a prison, so that's the entirety of this thing. Oh wait, no, it's this now. Okay. Okay, and then after this we should be good. Alright. Okay, let's just wrap this up because yes, I do want to work on Tenari things. Also who's this? Huh? Oh no, don't tell me this is gonna be like an escort type quest we're gonna be doing in Genshin from now on. Oh no! Okay, you're a big girl, thanks. As you can see, I'm the forest watcher here. As for my name, is Rana. I'm not. <coughs> I'm onward from different nations. You aren't just like an hunter of the forest, nor do you look like you're from the basic. But you're close to the preferability of a city. Uh, so the forest watcher, she should know Tenari, right? Unfortunately, he's actually a really nice person. Okay, when I was in training, he's really that gorgeous. <laughs> What's the touch of Me too. He's just speaking out of the war. Nah. Tenari will get angry if you do it without asking for us. Probably, it probably will, but his eyes are so glossy and I'm kind of wondering how they feel. Him seems pretty interested in them too. Okay, about it's. Why are. Okay, they're cute ears, I admit, yes. Yes, we do. What is this now? Okay, I don't want to get sidetracked. Ugh, fine. Can I just ditch her? Or oh, wait, Where, which way is she going? If she's going to the city anyway, then fine. She's going to the woods, right? Well, but first, yeah, I saw a treasure back there. I'm going for that. Because someone took care of it, even though they're even more perfect. There was, okay, now there's two, but there's one at the back. Here. There it is. Phew. With the wind.
solidified. Charge! Press the advantage! This isn't good. Down here anyway, yes. Get to these teleport points. I gain from doing that? I guess not. There she is. Follow to the city, because this is on the way anyway. Oh. Wow, I was already ahead of you. Oh, wait, what, where is she taking us? Only been a few days, and I knew where there's a pub. I just cleared it! Said now. Okay, no worry, took care of it. Mr. Um, oh, this Naran Rana. Okay, so I wonder if you guys are interested in joining us. I can vouch for you both. <laughs> <coughs> Clam down. those things I mean Aranara
Okay, yeah, no, I don't want to get sidetracked by that, so let's just go hit this dude. Punch, huh? This is order. No, my sword! Rain cutter! Time to act. Okay, kid, keep saying it like that. Huh? 
we are. moment please you two it appears this is your first time visiting sumeru city oh yeah that's right but how did you know that because there's currently no information on either of you in the akasha but no need to worry that won't prevent you from entering the city in fact the academia conveniently provides each traveler to sumeru city with a device perhaps you two have heard of the akasha before it's our beloved greater lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy a treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Ooh. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities, such as Sumeru City and Port Hormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Since this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa. Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. Seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and BAM! You get it! Oh, that'll come in real handy! Exactly! That is the power of the Akasha! And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City! May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide! Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali! Let Paimon try! Five hundred years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm, seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Hyman doesn't sense anything. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question! Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it! Ugh. Paimon's brain is exhausted! Oh, smart idea! But what are you going to ask it? Because we're outlanders, and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. Uh-oh. Paimon 
everyone's getting all teary-eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their Archon. <sighs> well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the Academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. Let's see. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. Watch out for pickpockets. Let's head over and have a look. Hopefully he's at home. Say something like that about Oh, look at you. You look you look a bit different. That's me. Can I help you? Great! You see, Tainari sent us here and... And... What? Tainari? I... Uh, please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ah! Oh, ooh. What a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. <laughs> so, you two just have some questions for me? Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, I'm almost sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorostana or made a public appearance. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. <clears throat> Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. I mean, this kind of stuff. Hey, come on! <clears throat> this is a survival skill at the Academia. Oh, Paimon's expectations were pretty low, but this is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt. Boy. Uh, so what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here! Huh? Like who? Ah, uh, yes. Ad Astra Abyssos. Oh! The Adventurer's Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! Yep. Phew! <laughs> and yes, we'll take the long way around. We huh? can teleport her all the way as well.
Curious, just explain a little. Again, getting hungry again. This was a mistake. Uh, after I finish streaming, I'm gonna eat my food. I'm starving. Go. Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Catherine, we need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. <laughs> I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another <laughs> dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, oh, those guys. so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Core of 30? What a weird name. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asphant, an advisor with the Core of 30, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Core of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. All right, off to the Citadel of Regzar we go! Go! Phew! Huh? Ha. 
Nope, can't climb this way. Or can I? Nope. <coughs> Sorry, my mouse is acting up. Hey. <clears throat> oh wow, automatic door is crazy. Let's find that one, what was he? He's a new character in coming, right? Welcome. The Adventurer's oh, Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asfang. We'd like to ask you about something. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha! <laughs> it's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it? Ha <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. <coughs> the gods there died off long ago. <coughs> Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. Oh, I see. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser <coughs> lord Kusanali. Oh? Why's that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. <laughs> Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. Yep. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. The thing is, she's not the all God right. of Wisdom. Well, thanks for the info, Osfond. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the <coughs> Adventurer's Guild. <sighs> Seems Osfond was right about most people's attitudes here. 
Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, if the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. Huh. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyar Zad, one of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Really? Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then what happened? <clears throat> and then the calamity came. <clears throat> but to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun, and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, <clears throat> can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So, did you two know that, uh... I was about to say, those guys are looking for her, aren't they? Uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Likely. The stinks! We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now! <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them! Then we can catch up with Dunyarzad! Hey! Have you two seen a brown haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. Uh, did she have bandages? Oh, hey, Celestia. Thanks for joining. Stream was feeling a little yes, lonely while her. I was doing this stuff. Did you see which uh, direction she went? Uh, yeah, she went that way. <laughs> Quick, after her. Okay, I, I briefly went to your stream for a little bit, but yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I briefly went to your stream for a little bit, but again, I didn't want to be spoiled for <laughs> that should keep them busy for stuff a while. for Sumeru, Let's so that's why I, I dipped out. So I'm just trying to get through. Most of just the main quest thing, so I can um, focus on this part. Because it keeps saying that, yeah, I need to complete this prerequisite. It's been fun, it's been fun. I'm enjoying the music, enjoying the scenery, and like just finding chests again. Again, I miss this feeling that I got when I first started playing Genshin, of course, when like Inaz when Leo and Inazuma were new to me. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, also yeah, if you didn't know, I got lucky on the banner. I also have a clip on my channel, like I clipped it earlier when I got so excited that I got, um, uh, Tanari. Look at him, his beautiful, cute little ears, yeah. Okay, might as well level him up. 
I got lucky on 10 rolls in, so I was very happy about that the other day. So now going forward, I just... Yeah, thanks, thanks. I can't see. Okay, it's fine, just get him to here, and then... Okay, ascending is gonna require me fighting the bird thing. So yeah, that's why I just wanna get through. Um, get through this quest thing. So I can just do this, and then focus on... Just maxing out Tainari. Because I actually do want to be able to get to use him, and use him on Abyss, and see how... Well, that will work out. Okay. But anyway, we're continuing with the quest. <laughs> yeah, she ran away and hid it. There she is. There you are, Dunyarzad! We thought you might have been long gone by now! Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. Why are your arms bandaged? Uh -oh. I just Looks noticed like there that. There are some coming this way. Huh? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! No, wait, I. Uh, my I was body isn't say, in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. I was about to say, you seem to have. Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. Probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. All right, let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. Okay, are we sneaking? Is that what we're doing now? Oh no, just into the tavern. Okay. With the wind. Oh yeah, I was just checking out this place. It looks nice. Yeah, see, listen to, I like, I kind of like just the feel of Sumeru so far, yeah. I just like, I just like this tavern already. Like this. <sighs> we made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. What the f- we Oh, you! Idea. You, oh my god, <laughs> that scared me. It's got, yeah, it's a definitely a neat vibe. Oh, did not expect to see her here, jeez. My oh. lady, who are these two? My lady, okay. They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. Okay. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. I Wait said maybe. <laughs> Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard. Really? Here to see that she returns home safe and sound. <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? <clears throat> It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Oh. Hey! Junior Zod already said she doesn't want to go back! Why are you still pushing her? Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Enlighten us, Sorry, then. my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How much? How much? Wait, what? <laughs> it's about money. How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. Let's see. My lady, this isn't, isn't about, about money. Mm. She's loyal. I don't know right. what you think of us Aramites, but let me ah, say this. She's right, she's an Aramite. I like Mora, but I'll never go against yes, my principles. Okay, I can respect That's that. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. God, I love her eyes. And knowing I your health, carelessly day. running around like this is gonna hurt you. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. Mm. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. Mm. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. I still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. That's our Lord. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. 
so I want to do something meaningful. Well, I can play some Fall Guys with you, but thanks, Celestia. Yeah. But I'm, I may be wrapping up the stream Maybe. soon anyway. Sure like, what you're doing like I usually only go for two meaningful? hours most of the time, but yes, and also I'm, sure. I'm starving. At least. <laughs> I have food waiting for me, me, so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up Fine. after this, I guess. I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, <laughs> that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. Mm. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. <laughs> this way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Uh, okay, deal. Yay! Looks like they've reached an understanding. Yep. <laughs> I was about to say, she gives me the impression of like she's always sick or whatever. So, but she still likes to be, wants to do things and go out there. So, I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. Okay. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Oh wait, she actually does have ears. Sure. I'm just noticing After that. I thought it was her, just for her. I think it was just her. I just thought it was her hair for a second. It was actually her ears. Where are you? I want to talk to you. No, you still. Okay. Ha! <laughs> well, if it isn't Dia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? Mm -hmm. You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? We don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of Mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Hmm. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. I need to break the bank. We'll eat whatever you order. Yeah, we're already super grateful for everything you told us about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Mm -hmm. How about our coconut charcoal cakes? Coconut They're charcoal our cakes. signature snack, and they run cheap. Look. Other customers over there are eating some now. Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Uh, Paimon will pass. Peaky Paimon? No, that's the first time. <laughs> hey, come on! Paimon has personal preferences too, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. Dunyarzad, we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Mm. Uh, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. I say she's the god of dreams. 
Who are you? She's, she's How do you know yeah, my she, name? She's the Dendro Archon, not the God of Wisdom. That was Chris um, Lord's thing. How do I thing. explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Really? God, why are you giving so much cutscene attention course. to a random NPC? I know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking medicine every morning, and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? Want? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Then why not the ability to do that? Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Maybe. Then. Can you make my illness go away? Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry. But I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Right now? Then, can you be my friend? Eh, that's a start. Yeah, that's nice. And then from After the that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samio. Deserts and all of Tevat. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it. But she said that I must have been dreaming. Mm -hmm. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. <clears throat> Before that, I had never heard of Tafat. Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world. Nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. What's the Subzerus Festival? It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. Mm. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rupadabata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. Mm. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. Boo. The academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukadabata. But when it comes to the Subzerus festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death. Oh, I heard this in a so trailer. So reluctant to celebrate it. I think I heard that oh, exact line in a trailer. But that's awful. It is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. Yep. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the Subzerus Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady, does this friend happen to be Nilu? The one who sends flowers to the estate? Hmm. Yes, that's her. Wait, is, isn't Nilu mm, the... I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her Could face. Be mixing her up with someone it else. seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more prepared. So I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. Nilu. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today. And see how things are coming along. Aha! Uh -huh. Dia, would you accompany me? Yes, I knew it. Sure. It is the dancer girl. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. I just searched it up. I knew no, it. No, that would be too much. Even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. Can we also pull on? But of course. 
And Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay, well, weird place to try and stop the stream, but yeah, I, I'm at my limits, I have food waiting for me. And yeah, we got through most of the Art Conquest stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna be streaming same time again tomorrow. And we'll see how much we can get through because I want to get through most of the quests just so we can do the stuff and the, the more exploration stuff. Just and also get some more stuff for Tanari because I want to start using Tanari. Okay. But we'll yeah, we'll just have to see. Okay. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks Celestia Celestia for <laughs> for dropping by. Yeah, I appreciate the company. Just for just yeah, just some conversation and chat just to to make it more interesting so still working on art guys there's like a certain piece that has been killing me for the past week and i'm still working on it just a re just a redraw of my persona that you see on screen so I look forward to that when when i actually get it done on top of i want to redo the png you see on screen so we'll see otherwise i've been nara the fallen angel and i will see you all tomorrow guys okay bye bye